Hey guys, um, so this is a tutorial on your introduction to computing. Um, in this video we're going to speak more about, or we're going to speak about uh, mostly how computers will do math and then later videos we will talk about uh, more higher level arithmetic and uh, then we'll probably branch off into CPU architecture. But for right now, we're going to talk about uh, how computers can do math. So, um, first of all, what is computer logic? So, computers, if you don't already know, they use uh, something called binary, which is base 2 or ones and zeros. Uh, something like this. You've probably seen this in sci fi movies all over the place. But we're going to get into what these actually mean. So this is called binary. Uh, and I'm just going to show you a little bit of what binary is. So binary is a system using only ones and zeros, as I stated. Um, now, first one is pretty obvious. It's one for uh, decimal. Decimal is just uh, one through nine, and then so on and so forth. But if you wanted to do two, you know, you don't have a two in binary, so you have to go over to a two's digit. Uh, thus, the name base two, and because it has two digits. Um, but yeah, so. Basically, you if you want to get numbers like 3, you're going to have to add together 1 and 2, and you get 3. Uh, similar to the way that we do in base 2, or base 10, I should say. Uh, we add the two numbers together, um, and then this one, since this is in the tens place, then it counts for 10 places. So that's 1 times 10, and this is 6 times 1. So, you know, it makes sense. But, um, you know, you could go on forever doing this. Uh, and each one of these is called a bit. I feel like I should mention that. Um, but another thing you might notice is there's a little bit of a pattern here. So, in the ones place, we have a one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And in the twos place, we have one one zero zero one one zero zero yeah, so it, it's kind of an iterative pattern um, depending on what place value it's in so we're gonna move on to something um, a little more uh, I want to say complex but it's not really that bad okay so uh, the way that we do math in binary is first of all we say okay so this is a uh, addition problem, and we're going to do uh, 1 plus 1. Well, we, we can't do that because uh, we, we can't get 2, so we have to set that as a 0. Um, and then we try to carry it over, so we try to do 1 plus 1 again. Well, we get a 0 because we can't do that, uh, so we place down a 0 at the bottom. And uh, we try to do it over here, we get 1 plus 0, uh, well, you get 1. So that's the basic idea behind binary arithmetic. But you may be wondering, how do computers do that? Well, um, with computers, we have something called a transistor. And a transistor uh, will allow flow, uh, a flow of signal to go through whenever you send a signal through the, uh, the middle pin. So in that way, we can control the flow of electricity, which is very important. Um, but we're gonna we're not going to struggle on the hardware part. We're gonna struggle more on the logic behind it. Uh, I might do a hardware video if you guys want that kind of thing. But we're going to handle the logic here. So let's go to the next one. Um, now these are the logic gates. Uh, they they may look a little strange, but uh, let's let's get beside that. Um, so uh, the AND gate can only be on when two inputs 
half or one. So if we have one going into here, so if we have an on signal going into there and an on signal going onto here, then we get an output. Um, uh, and then the OR gate, if you have either of them on, even if you have both of them on, it still equals one. Um, the XOR or exclusive or exclusive or only works whenever you have one input on. So if you have one, then it'll give you an output. If you have both of them on, it doesn't give you an output. So and usually um, if you have an in at the beginning of the gate, uh, with the exception of XOR because it has to have the E in there. So if you have an in in the beginning of it, it usually means it's the inverted. So for instance, uh, the NAND gate, it only turns off whenever you have a both inputs on, if that makes sense, because this is the NOT gate. Usually the little circle indicates that it's uh, not the signal. Um, but let's move on. I'm, I'm going to show you something a little bit more complex, because after all, we want to be able to carry digits over if they're too big. And if you remember, the XOR, if both of them are on, then you can't have a signal going out. But we also need a way to carry that. So I'm going to show you a little example. So this is what is called a half adder. And it's a com combination between an XOR and an AND. So you're, you're probably like, well, well what, is, what does that mean? Um, so we have an XOR, so basically this will detect, so if we have one input going in, okay, we're, we're fine, we're, we're okay. But if we have another input going in, then the AND will go on, and the XOR will turn off. So you can see that these are labeled the carry, and then this is the output. Um, so this will carry over the signal if it's too large. But the problem is, where is that signal going to go onto the next adder? There's a reason why this is called a half adder and not a, a full adder. You know, that, that seems like the logical thing is having a full adder. But um, yeah, so we're going to show you how a full adder works. So the way that the full adder works is, you, first of all, you have your, your half adder set up right here. And then uh, you have the AND. So, you know, that, that's pretty standard right there. Um, and then you have the XOR, this gate here, hooked up to another AND gate. So basically, it's two full adders, but one of them is going into the other. Um, and you may be wondering, well, no, what's the point of that? Well, you see, uh, if we wanted to get a carry in, so the C in, then we would have a signal going over these wires and into the second input of that XOR, thus uh, creating a carry out signal. Um, and then these are just ORed together, so if any of them are on, then we get a carry out. But that is it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something. If you, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I, I would love to answer them. So, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them there. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, I'm going to be making videos like this a little more often. But, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.